That's a soda pop from Soda Hughes, and you are watching the Moloch channel, and we've got one that you guys are usually pretty excited about. We got another book from Kim Jung Gi. I'm sure you know the logo. This will probably take a little bit to open up because, as we know, he packages his books pretty well, which he better because you know they're a little a little pricey. But Kim Jung Gi does not disappoint. Fabulous. Generally published by Editions, Caret. This book is the 2013 sketch collection. Uh, we got a poster of the cover. Damn if it isn't cool. As is basically all of the art by Kim jung <laughs> And it is Soda Hughes's old nemesis, the shrink wrap. <sighs> yeah, that one didn't take too long. Ah, this is a big old chungus. God damn. Well, here we go. Let's pour into it. Nice matching end papers. Pretty all right, title page. The man himself, Paralando, means speaking. He really seems to like to use uh, Latin or Italian words in what he does. We're jumping into some sketches. Looks like uh, maybe from movies or his military experience. He did do some of that uh, compulsive uh, military service in Korea. I'm hoping to meet him at some point. I would love to visit the Superani offices. It's looking like I'm going to go to Korea to teach English. That's the plan. Not oh, nice. Um, I'm trying to learn Korean, which has been an absolute shit show. It ain't easy, let me tell you. Let me make sure this is recording, because this is going to be a bigger video, and I don't want to screw it up. I think I know how to say four things. Annyeonghaseyo, which is hello. Gumoeo, which is, I think, thank you. Mul juseyo. I think is water, please. <laughs> and omainika, which is, uh, how much is this, or how much does this cost? You know, it ain't much, but I'd, uh, rate my chances for survival at, uh, fucking decent right now. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful stuff. See him thinking about perspectives, drawing things inside of boxes. Very lovely paper towel work. Yeah, I'd love to visit the Superani offices. Give them all gifts. Say thank you, if I can, in their own language for all that they've done. Because, you know, they're all pretty laissez-faire about it, nonchalant, for the most part. And they probably have a ton of psychotic fans. I know at one point Kim jong Gi was saying that he was like, Oh man, if I ever become a famous artist, like, that'd be so cool. Because I'd probably have all these fans, you know, that were girls that are just like, Oh my god, you're the best. But, um, he says most of his fans are just guys who are basically like him. <laughs> So he's like, uh, the perks are not that great, so, I don't know, maybe he wouldn't care if I was like, thank you, you've inspired me so much. <laughs> yeah, he'd just be like, hey, you know, you're not that cute.
bam. Some comic that he's working on. I did finally get around to uh, reading Spy Game, or Spy Games, I, I think that's what it was called. It was pretty decent. It was just uh, fun, just kind of light action. It's just nice. Definitely uh, well suited to uh, Kim Jong-gi's uh, abilities. We were seeing a lot of caricatures from him. I feel like caricatures are a good way to uh, think about simplifying recognizable faces and identifying features and also figuring out what makes an emotion look like an emotion. I should probably practice it more because those are things that I definitely feel inadequate in but you know I feel like <laughs> inadequate in most facets of drawing still. <laughs> I wonder what's happening there. Bad A, Santa. Whenever I do see the, uh, these, though, I gotta say, it just makes me think to myself, like, damn, I gotta... I gotta draw more. Even if it's messy, I just... I need to be doing it way more. It's gonna be nice to be around some environments that I think will actually be new and interesting to me in Korea though if I can get there which I think will help me uh, get to drawing you know, environments which I need to do more I need that practice been getting uh, some decent practice in with figures although I'm still not anywhere where I want to be but Definitely need way more in perspective and environments. I've got to finish the Bryce Coe's uh, class 101 that I started. Yeah, if you ever think that it's impossible to draw like Kim Jong-gi or that he's just simply a phenom and it's unattainable because he has some sort of a genetic advantage or something like that like before I'll ever believe you you've got to show me that you've at least attempted to fill up a book of this size and this isn't even showing, I don't think, early works. Like, this is literally just, I think, for the most part, probably one year. Which is insane. Prolific is definitely a word that could describe him. Interesting. The only easy day was yesterday. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I wonder if that's from a movie or if something uh, that's something they would say. I wonder if it's something I've seen and I'm just not registering it. <laughs> Someone in the comments probably knows what it's from. 
such a cool drawing. We have now surpassed 500 pages. Circle of Life. Ah, cool. Oh, I've got to flip out. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. There you go. Hopefully, you can kind of see it. That's a big one. And this is a heavy book. <laughs> wow. And a flip out. I feel like the page quality is even better than one of the. Uh, other books that I've gotten by Kim jong -gi. As always, he's a titan of art, an absolute juggernaut, just insane amount of work of a great quality. Lovely book. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the page, the page quality was actually better than one of the other Kim jong books I got, even though this one is so massive, over 500 pages long. But yeah, as always, it's hard to say that a Kim jong book isn't worth it. Um, I love it. They are hard to get, though, but uh, if you can, why not? Uh, make sure that you support the channel, so hopefully I can get more. This is the last uh, Kim jong book I have in my collection. There's a, a couple by him that I don't have still, but, you know, it is uh, pretty pricey to get one, so check out my Patreon, like, subscribe, try and help me so I can, you know, keep sharing this stuff with you and keep helping the channel grow and growing as an artist. I'm trying to trying to do awesome things. That's the goal. And I thank you uh, for helping me along with that. I hope to see you again and take care. You're such a